Hi guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Larissa L and you are on my YouTube channel Parker Kate, right featured beauty, lifestyle, and fashion videos. And if you're new here, I am a freelance makeup artist and beauty vlogger. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Charlotte Tilbury Cheek and Lip Tints. There are five shades. They are on an early release. So until November 22nd, you can get your hands on these and then they will come back for a full launch in January 2021. So if you're ready to see some swatches, the colors I picked, my thoughts and recommendations on the formula, and if you guys should go ahead and pick these up, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so Charlotte Tilbury released five new liquid lip and cheek stains. Um, I have two of the colors right here. She has some nudes, some reds, some berries, and some pinks. I chose an everyday kind of nude color. This one is called Santa Euphoria. And then the red one that I have on right now, this one is called Love Chain. Now usually when you have a cheek and lip tint, you think it's something that's going to be alcohol based, drying, and really hard to work with. And you can't really build up the pigmentation because it's tinted, which means it's going to necessarily be lighter. Is that really the case with these ones? Well, we're going to jump into the demonstration and swatches portion of the video where I try these on, give you kind of a first impressions, and then my final thoughts and recommendations on this. So let's go ahead and jump in and try these bad boys on. Okay, so now we're on to the demonstration portion of this video, and I have, again, two shades from the early release of the tinted, oh, tinted Love Lip and Cheek Tints. I have the Santa Euphoria, which is more like a nude tone, which is like everyday, and then I wanted more like a festive, so I grabbed the reddest one, and that one was called Love Chain. So I'm going to start by um, applying the first one on, the nude one on, the Santa Euphoria. I'm going to apply this one on first. I like that the applicators right off the bat are already colored, so you're not getting a white applicator, and then you have the color that came on. Now because these are a tint, they're supposed to be um, like a light wash of color. You can also apply these onto your cheekbone, which I'm going to do. Um, I think they do oxidize right now. It's pretty like wet. I don't really want to apply this with my finger, but... So I'm going to just start one side first with my finger because I want to see what it looks like. Um, I already have a very light blush on, but this is just like a nice color. Yeah, so that's a barely there nice flush of color. Really easy to blend out. I have applied it over foundation and powder that I've already had, so the fact that you can set over powder is nice. You can also just apply this on bare skin. It does dry down a little bit quickly, so it's one thing you do have to do is work quickly with it. But um, like I said, this one is supposed to be like an everyday neutral, so it does get a little bit darker when it oxidizes. I'm going to apply a little bit more. I do two coats. It doesn't sting. It's not tingly. It's just like a cool hydrating um, type of feeling. Now a couple of things I've noticed with this, because it does contain hyaluronic acid and vitamin E, it is not drying, there's not that drying alcohol wetness that you put on with some lip stains. It's comfortable to wear, um, it is buildable, and um, if I kiss the back of my hand, now it's been on for like two minutes, mwah, mwah, like there is no color transfer. It's supposed to be a long lasting and the finish is not a matte or a luster. It is a satin finish, which means it's right in between. It doesn't feel drying. One thing I would recommend is getting a lip liner if you're gonna use these, even to use that as a base. I like that it does oxidize down to a darker color and the color is buildable. It doesn't feel overly drying or anything. And I like that you can still see it on top of my foundation, even though I have foundation and powder and I was wearing a pre-existing blush earlier, but it kind of rubbed off. But it's still, it's a really nice layering topper for any blush. Um, and it's natural looking. Again, this was in the color Santa Euphoria. But let's go ahead and try the red one and see what I think about that. So I'm just going to wipe this off. 
There is a little bit of stain left on my lips, which is nice, but that's why I started with the nude color first because reds and berries have a tendency, especially when you're making them or formulating them, have a tendency to stain way more and be a lot darker. So let's go in with the red one, and this one again is called Love Chain. I don't know if I'm going to be trying this on my cheeks, but we will see because I already kind of have a blush there. So as you can see, Love Chain is definitely more of a pink red, how it looks here. I don't know how it's going to look on my lips, so let's go ahead and open that up and see. So again, the same colored tip applicator, which is nice. And I'm going to go ahead and do one application of this on my lips. Okay. On camera, it's looking a little bit more red than it is right now with the lighting. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let that dry down and oxidize. It's definitely more of a berry pink red. It is not like a MAC Dark Ruby Woo um, red, if that makes sense. But that's just with one layer. Let's go ahead and dot some of this on my cheeks. I'm going to do about three or four dots on this side. Then I'm going to go in with my fingers, and I'm just going to blend that out a bit. I am actually putting it on top of the other one because you can't really see it, but I don't really think that's going to matter at this point, because it's a really nice subtle hint of color. It's nothing strong or that's going to take away, but the fact that you still have some pigment, it's really nice. It blends out beautifully to be like this gorgeous kind of corally pink. You probably need less than what I just applied to my cheeks because um, it is pretty pigmented, which I like, and it does blend out to be like a natural flush of color. But now that this layer has had some time to dry down, I'm going to go back in with the second coat and I just kind of put that on top to kind of see how dark I can get this. Yeah, so it's drying down, and when it dries down, it doesn't feel tacky. It still feels like really light on the lips, and it's pretty nice. But now let's go ahead and give it the uh, kiss test. So I'll use this hand. I've got nothing on this hand, and I'm going to... Yeah. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. There's no transfer, and I pressed pretty hard. Okay, I'm back. So I just applied some red lip liner. This is just from Essence. It's like a dollar to add some structure to my lips. But let's get into my final thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury new love tints. Okay. So first of all, these are a limited edition release. They are only until November 22nd for a pre-release. They will be coming back in 2021. There are five shades. So if you miss the release and you watch this video later, don't worry, they are coming back. I will link them down below. There are five shades and you can use this as a cheek and lip product. So it's a two-in-one, which is really nice. Now, typically with stains, you expect them to be dry, um, have that alcohol feel, and just feel really uncomfortable. That's not the case with these. The formula for this is the formula for these guys contain hyaluronic acid, which is like a hydrator, and then you also have vitamin E. When you apply it onto your lips, it feels very hydrating. I would wait maybe about 20 to 30 seconds to see it dry down because they do oxidize to a darker color. And then go ahead and apply a second layer if you want to build up the coverage, which is really nice that you can actually build up the pigmentation of these beautifully. Absolutely love the formula, the fact that you can build them up. They're non-drying, they have hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, so they're very easy to wear and they last all day long without transferring. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something you guys are interested in trying. Also, I am doing vlogmas this year, so don't forget to hit the notification bell and that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will be doing, well, try to do 25 videos on December 1st to Christmas Day. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!